today the very first session will be on blended learning. So till now we have covered the different uh, teaching strategies. Along with we know that when it comes to engage the students in the process of learning, what can be the strategies adopted by the teacher? So when we said blended learning, blended learning is a teaching approach in which the teacher can decide that at what point of time or when creating different learning sequences, in what learning sequence I need to integrate technology and what are the various content that I'm going to deliver to my student by the use of physical classroom. So maybe a lecture method, maybe advanced teaching strategy, but in a physical classroom, my students need to be there with me so that we can have face to face discussion about a topic. So when we said blended learning, blended learning is a mixture of offline teaching environment and online teaching environment, depending upon the nature of the subject. Say, for example, if the teacher is from the branch of mathematics, if a subject is related to the development of numerical ability among students, because in engineering courses, there are a number of subjects in which the student need to develop their numerical ability. So for those subjects, it is not always possible for the teacher to integrate technology 100% of the time. We need to integrate technology in bits and pieces, but most of the time, students need to be there with us so that we can progressively develop the content. There are few subjects in which the teacher can completely shift his mode of teaching to online mode say theoretical subjects are there in which the understanding need to be developed among students, but more focus is not on the development of other kind of abilities. So progression of the content is not that much high. So in that particular case, the teacher can simply select an online mode of teaching. There are subjects where combination of both is there. So in those particular subjects, the teacher can create a blended kind of learning environment for the student. So when we said blended kind of learning environment for the student, the major requirement again is how can we create an online learning environment? How can we create online learning environment? The most basic requirement is yes, any member connected online? Internet. Okay. Internet to geo de at institute level, we need to have technological resources. And from the student itself, student population also, they need to have access to those resources. If that access is not available in their personal environment, that access need to be provided by the institute 24 into 7. So with this note, we are going to start with our session that is on blended learning. It's a very famous saying that you can lead a horse to a water, but you cannot make him drink. So by just considering that if we have technical resources available with us as a teacher, if I have a command over those technical resources, doesn't mean your student level of understanding can be developed. First thing, the teacher need to create engagement of the students in the process of mm -hmm. learning. Only then it is possible for the teacher to integrate all kind of resources, all kind of knowledge that is available with the teacher. In a, the first very uh, first question that we all need to answer is in education where we are heading. How many of you already read an EP 2020 policy on education? Or you have any awareness about that policy? From the online uh, environment also, the members can reply. How many participants already read NEP 2020? NEP policy is more of student-centered and they, it, is, it focuses on skill development rather than just knowledge on learning. And it has policies like multiple entry and multiple exits. So when we said NEP 2020 is a student centered, that is one part of NEP that your classes must be student centered. And it is not only talking about the skill development of the para, uh, student population. NEP 2020 start its discussion on education started from the primary education level up to the higher education level. If education system need to be revamped, it need to be revamped from the primary education system. And ultimately, the student population who enrolled in different educational institutions, they will be 
up to that part that they must be able to understand the student centered teaching and learning approaches so when we are saying in education where we are heading right now rightly added that nep is mainly focus upon the student population but at the same time teacher preparation and development is also the major factor that need to consider by nep 2020 so when we are saying that we are going to integrate technology in teaching learning integration of technologies in teaching learning is not an easy path for the teachers so when i'm saying internet is provided to the student all the time at the institute and teacher is creating different activities different assignments for the student in that particular case the teacher need to advance his or her knowledge also so student start comparing the content that you are delivering in the class and the content that is available online so they have more choices available so as a teacher when i'm talking about nep 2020 integration of technology must be at all the level of education but that integration requirement is also for the support of teacher preparation and teacher development so it is not just the information that is available in textbook what are the uh, what are the different things that is happening in industrial environment what kind of technology advances are there and how we are going to map our curriculum with those kind of intervention that is happening all around so first is when it comes to the integration of the technology it always started with the teacher preparation and teacher development second is it will improve teaching learning and evaluation process we have variety of learners available कितने लेवल ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस है हमारे पास देर आर नाइन डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द वर्बल लेवल अप टू द नेचुरलिस्टिक लर्नर्स वी हैव नाइन डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस अवेलेबल इन ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन सो इफ वी हैव वराइटी ऑफ लर्निंग पॉपुलेशन इट मीन्स मल्टीप्लिसिटी ऑफ एड्स नीड टू बी यूटिलाइज बाय द टीचर मल्टीप्लिसिटी ऑफ एड मीन्स नंबर ऑफ मीडियाज और नंबर डिफरेंट नेचर ऑफ कॉन्टेंट नीड टू बी देयर फॉर द student population improve teaching kaise karenge improve teaching ko apni first the development of the content second the teacher must know what kind of media is most appropriate for my subject third what kind of learning environment as a teacher it is possible for me to create it is possible for me to create or design so improve teaching means it is the teacher who is going to decide that what kind of learning environment is more appropriate for me so maybe for the young teachers it is very easy for them to integrate different technological resources but as far as the other uh, faculty members at a senior level available in different technical institution it might be not possible for them to integrate all kind of technological resources for those faculty members there must be technical support provided at institute level so that they can integrate different resources as per the choice of the student so when we are saying improvement in teaching learning practices it is not only the faculty who is offering different subject but the kind of support system that need to be there at institute level so that teachers can design such kind of courses and teacher can float these kind of courses for the student say for example if we are saying the development of a mooc program development of a mooc program is contribution in teaching learning activities but to design a mooc program is not an easy task we need content creator we need script writer we need video editor we need uh, somebody to check and vet the content that we are going to upload on that particular platform what kind of assessment and evaluation practices that you are going to give in that particular mooc program so there is a team of uh, faculty member and team of the technical uh, supporting staff working together for the development of that mooc program so when we are saying in education policy integration of technology improvement in teaching is there but there must be an ecosystem created at institute level for the development of such resources next is evaluation process nep 2020 is talking about formative assessment need to be there at institute level what we mean by formative assessment
formative assessment means classroom assessment activities when the teacher is asking question when the teacher is giving surprise test to the student the activities for which the score is not going to add to the final score sheet of the student ki hum uske marks ya rank ko impact nahi kar rahe we are conducting assessment activities to gradually improve the performance of the work produced by the student during the class so koi any activity in which you are going to evaluate the understanding level of the student or developing their efficiency in terms of work those activities are considered as formative assessment activities so when we are saying evaluation processes on a continuous basis the teacher need to integrate technology to carry out different evaluation practices aapke paas koi quiz app is available recorded video apps are available nowadays so we can use those apps so that student can use their mobile phones while sitting in a class but they are using their mobile phone for teaching learning activity unko use to karna hi hai hum sab bhi yahan baith ke kar rahe hain is room mein but why not using those resources for evaluation and assessment activities third is enhance educational access to the most disadvantages group so when the content is available online and if the online resources are not available with the student suppose that your institute if you uh, offer one mooc program to your students but internet facility is not available with those students so it is the responsibility of the institute to provide notes structured material to the students so that they can prepare by themselves teacher will be there to provide them input and finally they will be able to appear in the examination of that mooc program so streamline education planning administration and management so it is not only up to the level of teacher and student but for different practices followed at institute level there must be integration of technology aict ne apna feedback par forma float kara by using online platform only so that is again as per nep 2020 integration of technology for the development of different management policies so when it comes to the creation of the blended learning environment clear hai what we mean by blended learning blended learning means face to face learning when blended with an online learning environment so it is the choice of the teacher that what kind of learning environment they want to create so for the creation of the blended learning environment we need to understand that there there can be two different kind of learning environments at institute level so the very first one is the synchronous learning environment synchronous learning environment is when the teacher and learners are present at the same time can anybody of you give example of synchronous learning right now the traditional classroom is an example of synchronous learning and different online platform like there are many of the participants approximately from different center 250 to 290 participants connected with us at present and those 250 to 290 participants any point of time they can unmute themselves and interact with the faculty they can also write in the chat box and ask or add something to the discussion so these kind of platform help us online platforms help us to create synchronous learning environment at institute level so when it comes to the synchronous learning environment there are certain barriers why we are shifting to online learning or why in india there is a need of blended environment first rather than shifting completely to an online learning there is a demand for the blended learning environment because somewhere we are lacking of infrastructure resources as a teacher we are not fully and professionally trained to float online courses for our students because it required time effort and energy at the part of the teacher for a 20 credit online course you approximately need one and a half to two years for the preparation of that particular subject jaise hum ek research article likhte hain na wo copyright free hota hai in that manner you need to prepare the content of that particular program ab simply copy paste karke book se you are not able to give that content to the student you need to tailor made that content first and then only you will be able to upload that information so there are certain barriers barrier is the very first one is the limit flexibility 
so when it comes to limit the flexibility it means student and teacher need to be there at the same time whatever information delivered by the teacher the student need to capture that information despite of the different learning styles or learning pace har ek learning pace or processing of information may be varied but as the teacher deliver the student need to capture that amount of information if the teacher is not giving facility to the student to record that information abhi universities mein kya hota hai to yahan punjab university mein kya hai when the teacher is delivering a topic student are not noting down the information many of the students are in the habit of recording that information and they are passing information from one end to another end or teacher bhi unhe restrict nahi karta ki aap meri टॉक को या आप मेरे सेशन को रिकॉर्ड नहीं करोगे सो दैट फैसिलिटी इज अवेलेबल विद द स्टूडेंट दे कैन रिकॉर्ड इंफॉर्मेशन दैट इज अवेलेबल इन अ क्लासरूम इन्वायरमेंट एंड दे ट्रांसफर इट फ्रॉम वन एंड टू अनदर एंड सो वेन इट कम्स टू लिमिट फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी एंड टीचर इज नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग कंडीशन टू द स्टूडेंट टू रिकॉर्ड दैट अमाउंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन समवेयर इट इफेक्ट दैट लर्निंग इन्वायरमेंट टीचर रिकॉर्ड करने का परमिशन कब देगा जब वो फ्लुएंट होगा कंटेंट प्रेपरेशन इज वेरी गुड टीचर हैज अ कंट्रोल ओवर वर्बल एंड नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन ओनली देन द टीचर विल अलाउ द स्टूडेंट टू रिकॉर्ड दैट इंफॉर्मेशन नेक्स्ट इज द स्केड्यूल इज फिक्स्ड इफ समबडी इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लासरूम वी विल मार्क एब्सेंट एंड सेंड दिस टू द अथॉरिटीज यू डू नॉट हैव अ चॉइस सो इट विल लिमिट द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द टीचर एज़ वेल एज़ ऑफ द स्टूडेंट आल्सो all will work on the same time and sometimes we miss the content if the content is not provided by the teacher later on online learning environment may if we are not able to provide them recorded video lectures it is possible that they might miss some of the content or some of the information so there are certain barriers that we need to understand the next learning environment is a synchronous learning environment a synchronous learning environment means when the teacher is not present at the same time as the learners best example is all the courses floated on swayam platform by government of india that is a synchronous learning environment the major requirement for the creation of a synchronous learning environment is the preparation of the content along with integration of social media why integration of social media is essential whatsapp group bante hai na swayam group uske kyu bante hai wo ki aapka koi assignment upload ho raha hai basically we are developing learning communities kal humne learning communities ki baat kari thi when it comes to the development of the learning community social media plays an important role nowadays in education जैसे कल लास्ट लेक्चर में व्हेन एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर दीप्ति गुप्ता मैम वाज इंटरेक्टिंग विद ऑल ऑफ यू आप इंट्रोडक्शन में क्या कह रहे थे हम सब सोनीपत वाले हैं हम सब हरियाणा वाले हैं ये सारे यूपी वाले हैं तो वहां से क्लियर हो जाता है कि देर आर कम्युनिटीज ऑलरेडी डेवलप्ड इन दिस लेक्चर हॉल नाउ इट इज अप टू द टीचर हाउ दे आर गोइंग टू यूज दीज लर्निंग कम्युनिटी सेम इन आर क्लासरूम इन्वायरमेंट स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑलवेज मूविंग इन देयर ग्रुप्स teacher need to identify those group and then reformulate those groups so integration of social media and content is the major requirement in a synchronous learning environment all the information need to be transferred on the platform itself also and on the different groups or the learning communities that is created by the teacher when it comes to the matured learner they also created their own learning groups so there are certain barriers to a synchronous learning environment also the very first one is the capacity building what we mean by capacity building yes the participants connected with us online anybody would like to add something what we mean by capacity building
so when it comes to the capacity building capacity building of the institute in terms of facilities capacity building of the faculty members in terms of their professional training or in terms of the development of command over technology that they are going to use capacity building of the student population so that they can define their independent path of learning when a mooc course is being offered by using a synchronous learning environment nobody from the department or from the institute is going to tell you that this is the last date for the submission of assignment or activity on this date there will be a final examination this is the student who will take charge of that particular activity so that kind of learning environment need to be created by the institute so capacity building for the faculty and capacity building for the student as well as to the institute need to be there at uh, departmental level next is in terms of infrastructure facilities yesterday we have covered four different techniques of uh, pedagogy teaching method one is numbered head together second was fishbowl method of discussion visioning and futuring and how we can convert our traditional lecture into an active lecture uh, all the three methods numbered head together fishbowl visioning and futuring require different kind of infrastructure facility at institute level so in a traditional classroom it is not possible for me to utilize or use those teaching method when it comes to infrastructure facility for the creation of totally online learning environment it means you must have recording facilities available at your institute and there must be a strong technical support system that developed at institute level so when we are saying the infrastructure facility and we are creating online learning environment those kind of facilities or infrastructure need to be provided by the institute stakeholders who are your stakeholders students students industry parents, parents. so they are the stakeholders of any education system so when we are saying stakeholder and we were discussing that the uh, uh, in understanding learner that there must be different cultural background there must be different social economical background students available with us so as per their background as per their choices their demands may be different there may be parents in the society who said that with mobile phone it is not possible for you to learn something laptop is not required for teaching learning you just need to have a book so when we said preparation of the stakeholder industry is demanding the students who are not only good in their technical skills but at the same time they are very good in soft skill component their life skills also need to be developed so stakeholder may have different kind of expectation how the institute is fulfilling the expectations of those candidate say uh, during pandemic when uh, our education system shifted from offline to online in a sudden way there were students in different schools and different educational institutions with whom smartphone facility was not available and most of the classes were conducted online then government come up with their policies for the distribution of those smart devices to the population there were newspaper articles in which it is clearly mentioned that in india there are many state where 24 into 7 electricity facility is not available those students are not able to fulfill the requirement of the educational institution there were students in educational institution who were hesitant to switch on their videos because they do not want the rest of the student to see their personal spaces so in country like india where diverse population with diverse background is available it is very difficult for us to completely shift in a short span of time to an online education system because our somewhere our stakeholders are not ready with these kind of changes so when we are saying the facilities need to be developed at institute level as per the socio economical status of your student and as per their cultural background we need to set up reception or need to provide them opportunity that how can they become the part of this education otherwise it is very difficult for us to shift to the online system uh, at present also when i am organizing one mooc program for aict as well as for the swayam platform there are many of the faculty members with experience of 10 to 15 years 
when assignment date is over they start messaging sending email that my assignment was missed due to some family problem my assignment was missed because internet facility was not available with me because of the administration load on me so when these kind of maturity is shown by the different faculty member of good reputed institutions somewhere we need to prepare our student population for this kind of change उस टाइम पे मेरे पास कोई फैसिलिटी अवेलेबल नहीं है कि मैं उस असाइनमेंट को दोबारा अपलोड करूं और रीपब्लिश द डेट अगेन बिकॉज दैट इज ऑल द सिस्टम इज ऑल काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इज डेवलप्ड बाय द सिस्टम ओनली हम सिर्फ उनको अपने एम प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं फॉर असाइनमेंट और एक्टिविटी बट टीचर्स आर नॉट एबल टू कम्प्लीट दो रिक्वायरमेंट सो समेयर द स्टेक होल्डर्स नीड टू बी प्रिपेयर फॉर दीज काइंड ऑफ चेंजेस flexibility to the faculty what kind of flexibility is required at the part of the faculty for online learning is environment ke liye kis tarah ki flexibility required hai as a teacher what do you demand aane wale 4 5 saal mein aap sab ne online courses develop karne hai maybe for diploma institutions maybe for degree institution what kind of flexibility need to be there in the system because you already know ki aapke paas academic responsibilities bhi hain there are many administrative responsibilities also time schedule infrastructure infrastructure workload okay bas ye chahiye other technical technical support as a teacher the very first flexibility that is required for the creation of online learning is flexibility in your working hours aapki 8 ghante ki job rahegi but wo 8 ghante aapke kya honge flexible working hour it means somewhere we need to make a balance between offline teaching and online teaching there must be a balance between administrative responsibilities and academic responsibility head of department cannot permit every faculty to come 11 am at institute there must be pre uh, schedule decided at departmental level that at what time the faculty need to be there in the department so maybe all the departmental faculty are not available at 9 am but few of the faculty members need to be there at 9 am for the physical classes or for other administrative responsibility to sabse pehle hamare jo 8 working hours hain 8 hours of working their time need to be bit flexible at academic institution second flexibility that is required at the part of the faculty is management of the load the faculty members who are offering online programs on different platform they need maximum time to uh, contribute on those platforms also aapke paas emails bhi aati hain there are discussions also there can be questions also of the participant and suppose at present mere course mein 1600 student hain dusre course mein there are 9000 students to 9000 aur 1600 student ki jab aapko email reply karni hai you need to have a extra time for those activities also so your offline and online environment need to be balanced load fir us hisab se decide hoga ki how many faculty members are offering online programs for how many credits next flexibility for the faculty is in terms of resources so when we are saying resources the technical support need to be there technical resources need to be there the basic facilities like internet library need to be there with the faculty and access need to be there next is the work culture कैसा वर्क कल्चर रिक्वायर मतलब आपकी क्या डिमांड है इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑनलाइन लर्निंग व्हाट काइंड ऑफ वर्किंग कल्चर नीड टू बी देयर फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी की बात पहले कर ली हमने ऑल द फैकल्टी मेंबर्स ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट नीड टू बी इक्वली प्रोफेशनली ट्रेन्ड किसी के पास ये एक्सक्यूज नहीं होना चाहिए कि आई डू नॉट नो हाउ टू यूज दोस रिसोर्सेज डिस्पाइट ऑफ द लेवल ऑफ द फैकल्टी work culture means the technical support must be always ready to solve the problems at hand and there is a support of 24 into 7 as far as the technical system is concerned next work culture is your student population need to be ready with the changes that you are going to do in the education system 
So that kind of working culture need to be there at institute level. We need to consider the generation gap also at present in educational institution. Agle art the sal me jitne bhi mare senior faculty members available hain, they are going to be retired very soon. Jinki 83, 85 me jinki selection hain, they are going to be retired very soon. So this particular concept of generation gap is going to be obsolete in education system. At present, jo paas young faculty members hain, B Tech, M Tech, PhD, they already know how to use and integrate technology and after NEP implementation the teachers who are not able to integrate technology it is very difficult for those faculty members to survive in different educational institutions so NEP ko already ho gaye hai. within the next five to six years when NEP is fully implemented the teachers cannot say that I am not going to teach with the technology because 40 percent of your courses are going to be shifted on online platforms only there is only 60% of the content that you are going to take at institute level. So blended learning means the teacher need to integrate as per the nature of the subject, face to face learning with online learning. So when it comes to the blended learning, the very first question that arises is how to club synchronous and asynchronous learning environment. The very first four factors that need to consider is content. What type of content need to be there? NEP 2020 is asking for the different regional languages need to be imbibed in different educational institutions. And there must be three different languages in which the content need to be available for the student. Three different languages may kya hai. One can be foreign language, one can be their regional language, and one must be a national language. Konsa foreign language adopt karta Indian technical education system? English. English. Aapka regional language kya hai? Depending upon your state, aapka regional language will vary. Punjab mein Punjabi hoga, UP mein kya hoga? Hindi hoga. Hamari national language kya hai? Hindi. So it means when we are developing the content for our student, these three languages need to be there for the student. Suppose you are offering different MOOC courses to the student and uh, one course is available on NAPTEL. NAPTEL courses are designed by the different faculty of tier one institutions. So those content may not be appropriate for the students at your institute. Apne mm -hmm. course map karke offer kar diya, but the content that is available online is not as per the level of the student but the student need to appear in the final examination Usne final paper dena, apna assessment bhi karni hai. it means the teacher will create a tailor-made content for the student you will simplify the information that is available online and that tailored made content need to be provided to the student for preparation purposes and if your students are not matured enough means their self-independent path of learning is not yet developed in that particular case, despite of offering those MOOC programs online to the student, there must be few physical interaction happening at institute level. So department need to assign one faculty for that MOOC program. That faculty will be responsible that what is happening on the platform, what are the different activities the student need to perform, and how they are going to submit those activities on time. Check kahan pe rahega unka? institute level pe. one faculty will be assigned this particular responsibility for the creation of the content for that particular MOOC program next is the schedule so when i'm saying that we are going to blend offline and online learning environment by definition a and can integrate karenge. so second major requirement is how many semesters are there at in uh, one year at your institute two semester there are different branches so maybe there are eight different semesters working together in that institute at a same time how many infrastructure resources available with you every teacher it is not possible for him or her to conduct online class by using limited infrastructure resources so you need to map your timetable as per the resources available with you and as per the nature of the subject that is assigned to the different departments so, when you make your timetable, it is not as per the... How did our timetable become today? 9 to 5, there will be a lunch break. 
every faculty need to engage three to four lecture there can be two to three practical classes but now the timetable scheduling is also as per the availability of infrastructure so when we are saying the flexibility in working environment so it might be possible that some classes will be conducted after 5 pm so there is one university in gurgaon a uh, munjal university in munjal university even uh, at night at 11 pm the classes were conducted by the faculty members and students are available in the campus so when we are saying flexibility in work culture it is not for the ease of the faculty only sometimes the faculty need to work odd hours also for the mapping of schedule at institute level third is assessment what kind of assessment need to be there assessment must be designed as per the different categories explained by the bloom's taxonomy depending upon the nature of the course so what are the program outcomes as per those program outcome for the different subject the assessment need to be designed as for nep 2020 most of the assessment activities will be conducted in classroom environment final paper or final examination test will be there but they will be the standardized one so standardized one means act ne apna model curriculum diye us model curriculum mein aapke paas po cos are already enlisted when the question paper is being designed and all the institution or programs are nb accredited your question papers are going to be converted into standard test items fir wahan pe wo discuss karo write a short note aise wali statements will not be the part of your question paper so gradually we are fulfilling the conditions of nep 2020 next is interaction how many interactions need to be there so nep 2020 kehte hai na integration of technology for teacher preparation and teacher development and there is already one policy in our country where all the faculty member technical institutions faculty member need to undergo those ninet modules art modules sabko karna compulsory hai some states abhi kuch states hain jinhone compulsory nahi kiya but many of the states make it compulsory for the teacher to appear for those eight modules those eight modules are related to your professional training in the field of pedagogy in the field of administrative roles in the field of management so when we are saying the training of the faculty and the number of interaction need to be there professional development is gradually shifting to online platforms and at the same time teachers need to decide that how many times the interaction need to be there at institute levels basically for diploma and for btech level student and how you can achieve this as a teacher first is teaching online so what are the skills required by the faculty when it comes to teach online to the students ye class student centered to bilkul nahi hai subah subah hi aap aise chup ho ke baithe ho kyon nahi chahiye fluency fluency honi chahiye language ki okay good command over tech good command over technical uh, sir google platform jaise google classroom over wo proper chalana aata hai okay or your content must be catchy jab aapke paas video recorded lectures hote hain and if the video or timing is more than 15 minutes many of the uh, learners felt disengaged in that particular environment when we are teaching online the kind of content we are preparing द कलर कॉन्ट्रास्ट अगर आप वाइट स्लाइड दिखा रहे हो तो देर इज अ डिफरेंट इम्प्रेशन और डिफरेंट प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन बाय एन अदर इंडिविजुअल अगर आपके स्लाइड का कॉम्बिनेशन क्या होगा वॉट काइंड ऑफ फॉन्ट साइज यू आर सेलेक्टिंग हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन हाउ मेनी एनिमेशन आर असेंशियल वॉट काइंड ऑफ हाइपर लिंक्स यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग वॉट काइंड ऑफ वेब रिसोर्सेज यू आर फाइंडिंग आउट फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर कोर्स एंड सप्लीमेंटिंग दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन मूव कोर्सेज में कंडीशन क्या है द वीडियो रिकॉर्डेड सेशन मस्ट बी ऑफ टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ओनली एंड यू हैव टू कवर अ कंप्लीट यूनिट विद इन फाइव टू six videos so your video information need to be the crisp crisp one along with that information the e content must be supplemented by number of examples so when i'm saying blend aapko kahin bhi is powerpoint presentation mein koi textbook definition mil rahi hai 
एनी डेफिनेशन कि मैंने सीधा टेक्स्ट बुक से कॉपी किया यहाँ सोर्स लेके डेफिनेशन दे दी सो वेन वी सेड ऑनलाइन टीचिंग लर्निंग वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू जस्ट सिंपली कॉपी पेस्टिंग द कॉन्टेंट एंड पुटिंग इट ऑन द स्लाइड द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट इंफॉर्मेशन नीड टू बी प्रोवाइडेड टू द स्टूडेंट along with few of the illustrations or few of the examples so when we are saying that teaching online the first is the teacher need to know that what kind kind of content i need to develop and how i'm going to make my teaching more interesting for the student second is communication skills kal ke lecture mein kya seekha communication mein interaction interaction okay लैंग्वेज और अब जो आपकी फोर स्किल्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन है उसे ऑनलाइन लर्निंग इन्वायरमेंट में हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू यूटिलाइज हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू यूटिलाइज योर रीडिंग राइटिंग लिसनिंग एंड स्पीकिंग स्किल्स इन ऑनलाइन लर्निंग इन्वायरमेंट हाउ यू मेक योर स्टूडेंट इन्वॉल्व इन दो स्किल्स पढ़ना जरूरी रीडिंग स्किल इज असेंशियल फॉर द स्टूडेंट उसके बिना रिमेम्बरिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी कवर राइटिंग इज कम्पल्सरी अदरवाइज एक्सटर्नल पेपर इवेल्युएशन इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट कम्पलीशन इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट लिसनिंग इज कम्पल्सरी दिस इफ द टीचर इज प्रोवाइडिंग न्यू कॉन्टेंट टू द स्टूडेंट अगर आप टेक्सट बुक वाली इन्फॉर्मेशन दे रहे हो तो दैट इज नॉट असेंशियल फॉर द स्टूडेंट टू लिसन टू यू वाइल अवेलेबल विद यू इन अ क्लास वो अपने लेवल पर जाके पढ़ लेगा और कैसे करोगे इन बाई स्किल्स ऑनलाइन एनवायरनमेंट में आप सब लोगों ने पैंडमिक में पढ़ाया नहीं पढ़ाया ओके व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स फेस्ड बाय यू व्हेन यू आर डीलिंग विद योर स्टूडेंट्स ऑनलाइन इसका जवाब दे दो क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं लैक ऑफ अटेंशन आपकी या स्टूडेंट की स्टूडेंट की ओके और नेट कनेक्टिविटी कितने के क्लास है सर आपका कितने स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं क्लास में नहीं ऑनलाइन की बात कर रही हूँ उसमें कितने स्टूडेंट होते थे मैक्सिमम ओके और आपके टीचर जो कंटेंट प्रोवाइड करते थे आपको व्हेन यू वाज लर्निंग वेदर दैट कंटेंट अवेलेबल ऑन इंटरनेट इजीली और दे क्रिएटेड देयर ऑन कंटेंट कोई न्यूनेस थी उस क्लास में कुछ आपको लगा कि मैंने कुछ आज नया सीखा है इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लास आप सबने अपनी एम टेक बीटेक में लगाई होंगी ना क्लासेस सो यू ऑल आर मेच्योर्ड लर्नर्स एनी इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइडेड बाय द फैकल्टी दैट वाज नॉट अवेलेबल ऑन टेक्स्ट बुक एनी क्लास दैट इज फुल ऑफ एग्जांपल्स एनी क्लास दैट इज फुल ऑफ इलस्ट्रेशन टीचर ऑल्सो since now in our education we are totally dependent upon the spoon feeding of information so whatever information provided by the teacher that is also copied from the different textbook resources and most of the teachers are using lecture method again and again for the student despite of the nature of the content so when we are saying the integration of communication skill and in the last lecture for this particular class communication competency was the term that is used by the expert when we are saying communication competency means whatever message that is designed by me as a speaker that message must be interpreted by my receivers using the same meaning so when i'm saying communication competency as a teacher when i'm preparing for my classes specifically in an online environment i need to think of that what information it is essential for me 
to provide by using this online platform online teaching mein ye nahi hota ki aap from the line 1 to the last line you are going to dictate each and every information to the student you need to prepare the content sometimes for the immature learner we need to create self instructional modules self instructional module means when you are creating a unit content you are giving reference to that particular content and along with those references suppose aapka jo first topic hai this is the book reference from where you are going to read this particular topic and after introducing that topic there is a assessment provided by the teacher ki aapne ab ye topic pad liya these are the few questions try to answer these questions and then the feedback is provided by the teacher in the module itself so when we are saying in the next class is the lms need to be created by the teacher the moodle facility need to be created by the teacher it means beforehand the teacher is providing notes to the student related to the lecture and force the student to study that content before entering into the class ki aapke jo notes hain that must be available on lms and student will study that information before entering into the class and classes will be used for discussion purposes in online learning environment the writing skills can be enhanced for the student when the teacher is providing tailor made content or self instructional modules to the student at present we need not to repeat information again and again because for every subject information is available in abundance hame sirf kya karna hai find out those resources from different internet website and provide those resources to the student apne simplest form mein wo resources jo hai wo students ko provide karna hai so when the students are reading those instructional module before the commencement of the class the writing skills can be developed and jab wo assessment karenge to writing develop hogi when they are reading that instructional module the reading skill can be developed when the classes are used for the discussion purposes and activities the listening is going to be developed and what kind of non verbal behavior need to be there in a uh, classes all the time whether the teacher is engaging an offline classroom or an online classroom your uh, vocabulary need to be positive so when i'm saying na i'm motivating my student i'm engaging my student in the process of learning main koi wahan pe motivation ka lecture to nahi dungi every time to my class student or there may be student ke mere jaise ko jitna marzi motivation ka lecture de jao jitni meri motivation hai utni hi rahegi aise student aapki class mein bhi honge so when i'm saying i'm motivating my student for a student who is in the technical field it is very difficult to engage the student without providing a logic because unka ek logic develop hota hai in terms of their thinking so when i'm saying i'm motivating my student i'm engaging my student i am just using positive remarks and positive kind of vocabulary in my classroom environment when i'm saying the kind of communication required specifically in a non line learning platform your word choices the tone of the word tone of the word means if you are writing or if you are speaking your tonal quality in terms of writing and speaking need to be appropriate so we need to consider our student as an individual personality and we need to give due respect to that particular candidate also and not affecting the competency of that professional by passing remarks when we are saying non verbal communication specifically in online environment harvard university consider emoji as an official language because those emojis help us to evaluate the behavior of the student what kind of emotions they are experiencing while dealing with the teacher in an online environment whatsapp pe bahut sare messages aate hain na ki batao aapne kaun si emoji sabse zyada use kari hai so that is nothing but the collection of data in terms of emotional experiences attained by that particular user so when we are saying communication skill in online learning environment whenever the teacher is writing a feedback message even in the chat box or while dealing with the student on a verbal platform this is the recorded information so when it is a recorded information the teacher must be always very careful when it comes to the selection of the word choices jab aapka ye faculty induction training shuru ho raha tha na 
ऑन दैट संडे देर आर नंबर एक सौ बीस लोग आप हो और मेरे को सिक्स आई रिसीव फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट पार्टिसिपेंट और कुछ पार्टिसिपेंट्स ये भी पूछ रहे थे कि मैडम मुझे ब्लैंकेट लेके आना है <laughs> मुझे नहीं पता किसने कॉल किया था वो कि मेरे को वहां पे रहने की फैसिलिटी मिलेगी देन यू सिंपली सर्च ऑन इंटरनेट नीटर चंडीगढ़ वेबसाइट देर आर फोटोग्राफ्स ऑफ द गेस्ट हाउस फोटोग्राफ्स ऑफ द हॉस्टल फैसिलिटी एंड देर आर नंबर प्रोवाइडेड फॉर द सपोर्टिंग स्टाफ ऑल्सो यू आर एबल टू चेक दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन सो जब हम कहते हैं कि कम्युनिकेशन स्किल इन ऑफलाइन एनवायरनमेंट एंड इन ऑनलाइन एनवायरनमेंट वन मस्ट बी वेरी अवेयर दैट इन व्हाट एनवायरनमेंट आई नीड टू डिजाइन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ मैसेज एंड हाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर दैट मैसेज एंड सपोज एज अ कोऑर्डिनेटर आई कंसीडर के सैटरडे संडे तो मेरा ऑफ होता है मैंने अपना फोन बंद कर दिया आराम से बैठ गई सो so, उस केस में जितना फ्रस्ट्रेशन और रिटेशन पार्टिसिपेंट्स को होता स्पेसिफिकली दो हुआ ट्रेवलिंग फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम उनके लिए डिफिकल्ट होता टू मैनेज देयर इमोशंस सो व्हेन वी आर सेइंग कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स स्पेसिफिकली फॉर अ लर्नर कम्युनिटी इट मस्ट ऑलवेज बी वेरी रिस्पेक्टफुल नेक्स्ट इज द लर्निंग स्पेस व्हाट काइंड ऑफ लर्निंग स्पेस कैन बी क्रिएटेड बाय द टीचर इट टोटली डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द काइंड ऑफ फैसिलिटीज अवेलेबल विद यू एट इंस्टीट्यूट लेवल kind of interaction created by the teacher the te interaction must be there with the management interaction must be there with the senior faculty members mm -hmm. and interaction must be there with your students to collect feedback when the management is collecting feedback management is collecting feedback for the student and of the faculty to improve their policies and practices teacher is collecting feedback from the student while interacting it can be verbal feedback it can be non verbal feedback also ab as a faculty aap is classroom mein khade ho ke dekhenge when you are able to see the whole number of members sitting in this particular classroom from their non verbal behavior you can easily judge how many students are how many participants are willingly listen to the information aur kaun is tarah baithenge bas attendance ho gayi ab to so from non verbal in a classroom environment when the students are scratching their feet on the ground when their head and hand movement head hand and feet movement uh, need to be evaluated by the teacher on a regular basis to know what kind of behavior is displayed by my students in a class next kind of interaction or the feedback that need to be there in a classroom environment is related to the subject matter you can be a very good orator you can be a very good teacher by collecting information from different resources if you are not able to pass information in the head of the student your teaching effectiveness is zero so when it comes to the interaction and teacher is conducting many of the assessment by using verbal or uh, written mode of test the teacher come to know that do i need to interact more with my student so that i can engage them in the process of learning next kind of interaction that is happening at institute level is at the part of the student student will provide feedback to the teachers student will provide feedback to the management also and student providing feedback of one teacher to the other teacher also aage kehte hain na ki wo sir to bilkul acha nahi padhate wo to aise baat karte hain so they are providing feedback from one end to another end and there are multiple nodes of the student feedback so when the teachers are collecting feedback from the student or for the student that feedback also need to be collected from your faculty rooms so teacher need to act as a team in any institution and collect information from all the members when the student is providing feedback and if it is a negative feedback while interacting it's a question on your teaching effectiveness and teaching efficiency so it's a clear hint to the teacher that i need to improve upon so these kind of uh, four factors need to be consider how to blend effectively first we need to have readiness readiness kahan se aayegi your context of teaching teacher diploma level student is different from btech level student and to teach in a faculty development program is different from other courses so context of teaching क्या इफेक्ट करेगा आपके लर्निंग एनवायरनमेंट को 
सपोज आई एम डीलिंग विद बी टेक लेवल स्टूडेंट और जैसे आप लोग फोन उठा के बाहर निकल जाते हो ना वो मैं अलाउ नहीं करूंगी फॉर बी टेक लेवल स्टूडेंट सो द काइंड ऑफ लर्निंग स्पेस क्रिएटेड बाय द टीचर इज एज पर द लेवल ऑफ द स्टूडेंट अवेलेबल विद यू सो कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ टीचिंग विल डिसाइड वॉट काइंड ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन मैथड मीडिया एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ पॉलिसीज यू आर गोइंग टू यूज फाइनेंस फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर रिसोर्सेज वेदर ऑफलाइन ऑनलाइन द इंस्टीट्यूट नीड टू हैव बजट कमिटमेंट कमिटमेंट ऑफ द टीचर्स फॉर दैट सिस्टम सो एवरी इंस्टीट्यूशन नीड टू क्रिएट एन इको सिस्टम वेयर द टीचर कैन परफॉर्म वेल institution role role of the institution is to design different practices and policies so that student and teachers can follow and most importantly when it comes to the readiness readiness in terms of the content readiness in terms of the culture also up mein culture different hoga chandigarh ke educational institutions ka culture different so depending upon the cultural background of the institution depending upon the locality of the institution also your way of teaching need to be varied aapka approach of learning teaching need to be change second factor is intensity intensity means up to what extent you can adopt so when we are saying up to what extent we can adopt there is a model that is uh, cdio conceive develop implement and orient so as per the policies of the government or as per the policies of the institute you need to conceive few ideas you need to develop those ideas then you implement those ideas and after implementation you conduct an evaluation study agar aap online padha rahe ho you need to conduct an assessment study that when i am teaching my students offline or when i am teaching my students online how these two teaching approaches are going to affect the final scores of the student ultimately hamara objective kya hai the student ka jo score hai that need to be very high ability need to be very high so after implementing we need to have a assessment studies or evaluation study and likewise we need to revise our policies revise our practices or revise our teaching approaches and then orient so if we are able to improve our evaluation system sabse pehle hame kis cheez pe kaam karna padega apne evaluation system pe if the teacher is able to improve the evaluation system it is possible for the management to improve teaching learning activities happening at institute level next is impact after conducting different evaluation studies one can know the rate of success by using those teaching methodology suppose main up ya haryana wala ko kahu ki next from after this particular program for the next one month you are just going to use a flipped method of teaching flipped method of teaching you know ki aapko content student ko dena hai content us student us content ko fully understand karega and there will be presentation in a class is that method applicable for your environment कितने बच्चे पढ़ के आएंगे कोई भी नहीं सो वेन वी आर सींग ना इम्पैक्ट असेसमेंट एज पर लिटरेचर देर आर वन हंड्रेड एंड वन टीचिंग मैथड अवेलेबल एक सौ एक मैथड है पैडोगी के अंडर इट इज द टीचर हु इज गोइंग टू डिसाइड के विच मैथड इज एप्रोप्रिएट फॉर माई लर्निंग स्पेस सो दैट असेसमेंट नीड टू बी कैरी फॉरवर्ड बाय द टीचर सो वेन वी आर सींग ब्लेंडेड लर्निंग इट इज नॉट अ मिक्सड मोड ऑफ टीचिंग और इट इज नॉट अ हाइब्रिड टेक्नोलॉजी मीडिएटेड और अनहांस लर्निंग वेन वी आर कंबाइनिंग सिंक्रोनस एंड असिंक्रोनस इन्वायरमेंट इट नीड स्ट्रैटेजिक प्लानिंग एट इंस्टीट्यूट लेवल If there are six different subject offered by the departmental faculty, when you are preparing for your time plan, you all need to sit together and decide that what are the different resources that you are going to use in your lecture. Man, no, you have only a computer lab, and you want students to do an activity. Three teachers cannot club their classes together to engage that session. So hybrid, it is not hybrid learning. It's a strategic planning that need to be conducted at. institute level so as for the complex adaptive model if we want to initiate blended learning the central focus is the learner of your class and in learners there can be practitioners there can be collaborators or there can be researcher nep 2020 jab aap padhoge na you come to know that in the future to come there will be two different type of university 
teacher intensive universities and research intensive universities so the kind of knowledge the kind of skill they are going to develop that will vary in those universities because when we said learner is at the center in any educational institution their choices may be different one need to be come and researcher another need to become a collaborator or a practitioner teacher will be the teacher kya role play karega if the learners are matured facilitator and advisor if they are immature the teacher need to be guide and counselor or mentor for the student कंटेंट कैसा होना चाहिए आपका कल हमने क्या करा था कि स्टूडेंट का अप्रोच क्या है आजकल लेट्स बिल्ड इट दे आर कोलैबोरेटिंग विद ईच अदर टू परफॉर्म नंबर ऑफ एक्टिविटीज सो द कंटेंट नीड टू बी इंडिविजुअलाइज्ड सो दैट दे कैन क्रिएट देयर इंडिपेंडेंट पाथ ऑफ लर्निंग दे मस्ट बी एबल टू कोलैबोरेट इन फ्यू ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज लाइक प्रोजेक्ट एंड प्रैक्टिकल क्लासेस there must be interactive learning so in student is not confined to a given institution only when courses are offered off online to the student they might be interacting with the other faculty of different institution and there must be a problem based learning environment that need to be created at institute level technology synchronous or synchronous kind of environment both need to be the part of any education system what kind of learning support is required there must be academic support and technical support available at institute institute need to be strategically plan for the different events to be happened at institute level there must be a support system created at the institute this can be created with the help of different services and different infrastructure resources agar aapke paas ye wala provision nahi hai it is not possible for you to shift to the online teaching so these are the main factor the learner the teacher the content technology learning support and role of the institute what we need for a blended learning the very first one is the trained faculty second is the quality students third is the creation of the learning spaces flexibility and technology so when it comes to the learning it's the process of acquiring and integrating through a systemized process of interaction inter instructions and organized experiences that may vary in the form of knowledge skill and attitude so it is the teacher who is going to decide that what kind of learning environment i am going to create so there are many models of blended learning also that i will provide you in the form of ppt because there is no point of discussion these are the theoretical concept only so when we are saying the blended classroom so these are the different models the rotational model can be used by the teacher station rotation model is there lab rotation is there individual rotation is there at present in our country when we are talking about a blended learning most of the time we are using individual rotation model but we need to shift our focus to the station rotation model so when it comes to the blended classroom at the part of the teacher the teacher need to prepare a lesson plan where the teacher will decide kal humne kaha tha na lecture is divided into three different segments introductory development and conclusion phase now as a teacher you are going to decide that how many activities to be there for your student what kind of resources and aids are compulsory for you to have and how much time you are going to spend on those different activities and what are the different faculty activities need to be there so when your students are working online as a teacher what you need to do are you going to create a discussion forum is there any question that you are going to put forth to your student so that there is a discussion within that particular group if you are giving any activity or any assignment to the student what kind of resources essential for the students to have so that kind of planning planning need to be there beforehand by the teacher say for example if we have to create a research methodology class for our mechanical engineering student we need to this is a sample plan we need to discuss all these parameters with the student because that subject is offered to the uh, mtech level student so the google classroom is created for the students beforehand after the coverage of the complete content when student come to the classes the classes will be used for discussion based activity or other activities rather than dictating that information again and again to the student so these kind of preparation and planning need to be there at the part of the teacher 
so this is all from my side if you have any question you are requested to kindly unmute and ask yes any member if you have any question and from the classroom also Good morning, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Actually, could you explain in a detail, uh, in a short brief, what is uh, different models of uh, blended learning? The last four slides. Uh, for uh, us. So, ma'am, when it comes to the different models of the blended learning, now let me show you the illustrations of those models. So, ma'am, there are two different varieties of the blended learning model. One is for in-class environment and other is for out-of-the-class environment. So, when we are saying station uh, rotation model, station rotation model, the major requirement is the classroom along with the laboratory facility where all technological resources are integrated. So, within the class time, the teacher, after giving instruction, move the students for the activity. And based on that particular activity, an online uh, environment created by the teacher where students can interact with an outer expert. So that is station rotation model. When it comes to an uh, individual rotation model, the after the classroom delivery, the teacher will provide instruction to the student by using either the project or practice-based activity. In, in this particular model, individual rotation, the classes are full of activities. So after delivering the content, all the activities, the students are going to perform by their own independently at their own environment. So these project and practical based classes need to be uh, considered under individual rotation. When we said lab rotation model, say for example, the subject of uh, any branch, say computer science and engineering. So there is a structure of LTP. So lecture will be engaged by the student in a class, uh, teacher in a classroom environment by giving the direct instruction. And with the similar content, the teacher will providing instruction in a skill related environment and then learning laboratory. So whatever they have learned in a class, they will practice it in the laboratory session. So those laboratory session can be equipped with AR, VR facilities. So simulation technique, gaming techniques need to be used. Flipped classroom we have already covered. And out of the class, there are four different mod, uh, sorry, two different model. When is the self blend mode? Flexible mode, the best example is the different online courses when they are in a uh, flexible mode. So duration of the course is given. So within that particular duration, the uh, participant need to complete all those activities. A CARTI model means a specified time schedule is provided to the members to complete that program using online platform only. And the rich virtual model, when the content is full of hyperlinks, which provide a real life examples to the student, and the classes are in the form of project-based activities. So the details of this particular topic will be provided to all of you, uh, or maybe on Monday or Tuesday after compilation of the whole information for the.